New York has a rich history of organized crime, from the five families to the Corleones of the Godfather. Once dominant in New York's criminal underground, crime families are still active today, but in a much more covert fashion. Who gives the tough orders? In this video, we'll analyze the current heads of the major New York crime families and how they maintain their power in the city's criminal underworld. Origin of the Families It is believed that the five major crime families in New York City were established somewhere in the early 1900s. It is believed that Giuseppe Morello founded the Genovese family in 1902, Salvador Toto d'Aquila founded the Gambino family in 1910, Gaetano Reina founded the Lachese family in 1916, Joseph Profacci founded the Colombo family in 1928, and Joseph Bonanno founded the Bonanno family in 1931. The loyalty that exists between these criminal families is astoundingly strong, and many people feel that if it were ever broken, it would result in a bloody battle between them. He fought and fought. New York City was ruled for many years by Francesco Frankie Cali, the presumed de facto head of the Gambino family from 2015 until his death in 2019, and had a reputation for intelligence and judgment. When it came to the city's criminal underground, he was a big player who wielded considerable sway over the other major crime families. If you want to know more about Francesco Cali and his time in the New York City criminal families, keep watching this video. Liborio Bellomo Liborio Bellomo was born in Corleone, Sicily in 1941. In the 1950s, he immigrated to the United States and eventually resided in East Harlem, which is located in New York City. In this location, he became deeply involved in the criminal underworld, and by the 1990s, he had attained a prominent position within the Genovese criminal family. After being found guilty of racketeering in 2006 and receiving a term of 12 years in jail, he was appointed acting boss in the year 2002. Following the completion of his sentence, Belomo was granted his freedom in January of 2018 and was able to go back to his home in the Bronx. Back home. Wikiwand, on February 23, 2006, Bolimo and over 30 Genovese family members were indicted on more racketeering charges. Belomo was specifically charged with ordering the 1998 murder of Ralph Capola, the acting captain of Belomo's crew and Belomo's good friend. Bellomo is still a key figure in the Italian Mafia, and he is well known both for his devotion to the organization and for the traditional values he upholds. Francesco Cali Francesco Cali was the head of the Gambino criminal family in New York City, which is recognized as one of the five most powerful Italian-American Mafia groups in the city. Since 2015, Cali has been serving in an acting capacity as the boss of the Gambino family, and in 2018, he was given the title of boss permanently. On March 13, 2019, he was murdered by an unknown assailant. In 2008, Cali Gambino was one of more than two dozen members of the Gambino family who were accused with a variety of crimes. Love crime coverages like this? Subscribe to Secret Buzzer to become part of our Secret Busters. Don't forget to turn on post notifications. You turn it on? In the latter part of that year, he entered a guilty plea to the charge of conspiring to extort money from a person connected in the planned building of a NASCAR speedway on Staten Island, a proposal that was ultimately abandoned. The Mafia have decided to get into online crime to keep up to date. They have just launched a new app called Pay Up Pal. The prosecution said that Kali, together with others, participated in a conspiracy to obtain money from the subject by intimidating them or threatening to intimidate them. At the time of his arrest, Cali was shown to have ties to the Gambino family, according to the documents filed before the court. Another mob leader that we'll look at is Victor Amuso. Victor Amuso climbed through the ranks of the Lucchese criminal family to become the family's formidable chief. Of the master criminal. By introducing a new code of conduct and resorting to severe violence to keep order among mobsters, he is credited with alerting the culture of organized crime in New York City. If you want to know more about his leadership in the underworld, stay tuned. Domenico Cefalu Domenico Cefalu is currently the head of the Bonino crime family in its current iteration. Since the early 2000s, Cefalu has served as the head of the Bonino family. Because of his diminutive stature, people often refer to him as Little Dom. Cefalu was born in Palermo, which is located in Sicily in the year 1947. Cefalu became a member of organized crime after relocating to the United States and getting connected with the Gambino crime family by supplying heroin on their behalf. In March of 1982, he and 11 other people, including his uncle and his cousin, were found guilty of transporting heroin illegally and sentenced to prison. He was given a sentence of six years in prison. 
Cefalu was formally inducted into the Gambino criminal family in the year 1990 by John Gotti. Cefalu was a member of the Sicilian Zip Crew that was led by Captain Pasquale Conte and was responsible for running errands in Queens and Brooklyn. Interesting. Very interesting. Victor Amuso. In their criminal family, Charles Rose, an assistant U.S. attorney, referred to him as the Deadly Don. Along with his former underboss and close protege, Anthony Casso, who turned informer against him in 1994, Amuso's rule is regarded as one of the bloodiest times in American Mafia history during the late 1980s and early 1990s. Amuso was presently the longest serving criminal family head of the five families in American Mafia, going back to 1981 with the death of Colombo crime family boss Carmine Persico in March 2019. Amuso had been incarcerated at the Federal Correctional Institution Cumberland in Maryland since 1992, where he is presently serving a life term for murder and racketeering. It was after he'd served his service. Michael Mancuso. Notorious mobster Michael Mancuso had ties to both the Gambino and Bonino families. He became a prominent figure in the Genovese criminal family in the late 1990s and early 2000s. He played a role in many criminal enterprises, including loan sharking, extortion, and drug trafficking. After being apprehended in 2004, Mancuso received a 10-year prison term from the federal government. He has been out of prison since 2012 and is doing his best to lead a low-key existence. As well as his charitable efforts, he has been consulting in the real estate sector. Mancuso has avoided the criminal underworld in an effort to make amends for his past. He has said that he hopes his good deeds and the charitable contributions he has made will live on after his death. He has apologized for his actions and stated his intention to make apologies. He apologized. Oh, he apologized. This brings us to the narrative of Anthony Provenzano, the head of the Genovese family and the alleged murderer of Anthony Castellito. In this video, we conduct a comprehensive study of his formidable capo regime within the New Jersey portion of the Genovese criminal family and whether he had a role in the murder of Castellito. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, I'll provide a link to the video in question. Thank you for watching this video. We'll see you later.